should put fears to, to rest that the economy is slowing sharply. Uh, we didn't really think that because the 20,000 that was initially reported for February looked really more like payback for, we, for, for outsized strength in, in prior months. So I think the underlying trend still looks like it's you know, significantly above uh, long-term potential, and that should probably mean gradual labor market tightening if we stay on that path. Uh, people point to two months of ADP manufacturing losses, and now our first loss here since 16. How worrisome is that? I don't think it's that worrisome. I mean, we knew that manufacturing had slowed somewhat. You saw that in the business service in the U.S. You've definitely seen it in business service around the world. And it's not surprising that some of that also shows up in the, in the payroll numbers. However, you, we're also seeing that there is some stabilization in the global growth numbers. And China, in particular, has looked somewhat firmer. That's particularly important for the manufacturing sector. And so my expectation would be that we sort of stabilize here and then eventually move back into modest positive territory for manufacturing payrolls. I mean, if you smooth out some of the noise, the average in the first three months is 180,000 jobs per month. One of the surprises is it's, it's really strong, and it has been strong now for years. How much longer can this last? Well, I think it will last for uh, 2019, um, you know, something like this, because growth has been somewhat weaker recently. But actually, if anything, output growth is starting to look a little bit firmer. We have a sort of summary measure for the run rate of growth that looks at all of the monthly and weekly indicators. That's running 2.4 percent, which is up uh, about half a percentage point over the past couple of months. And I think in that sort of environment, you should expect these types of numbers for the foreseeable future. Labor force participation. Uh, Rick this morning was lamenting the fact that it is not performing the way we thought it was starting to a few months ago. What's going on there? Well, it's very noisy on a month-to-month -month basis, and I think there was a little bit of excess enthusiasm about the increase in the in the last few months because, you know, you've got to be you, you've got to take all these numbers with a little bit of a grain of salt. So we're now back down to 63 percent, which is effectively at the top end of the range that we've seen for the past uh, for the past five years. I think broadly, what's going on is that the cyclical forces bearing on labor force participation are positive labor market is improving, but the structural forces are working against that because the population is aging. And those two things roughly offset one another over the longer term.